You want to hear content about the Philadelphia Eagles and the Philadelphia 76ers? That's straight to the point. No nonsense. No over-the-top shenanigans. Say what we got to say and keep it moving. Then you made the right choice coming to Nikki Steve's channel. So stay tuned. All right, YouTube. Today is going to be a video response to The Daily Drip. I recently discovered his channel and subscribed to him. The Daily Drip makes Sixers and Eagles commentary video. And today is going to be a video response to his video that Tobias Harris is an X Factor. I'll put the link to his channel in the description box so you can check out his channel for those of you who haven't seen his channel. And, you know, let's get to it. So I'm going to reiterate a few points that brought up in the video. So he brought up a point in his video that his highest for fourth quarter point numbers this season are 9, 12, and 13, so which is one, which is an indicator. So he also produces in the fourth quarter. And the best point that was brought up in the video was, and I've said this point myself, my, particularly my video I made about Ben Simmons earlier this week. So I completely agree with that. Tobias was snubbed from the All-Star game while Ben Simmons got in. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The All-Star Game is primarily a popularity contest. Because Ben Simmons was hyped up, he's a hyped up star coming out of LSU, he took some of that hype and his popularity from his college run in LSU and crossed it over into the pros. So, and like I said, popularity does play a factor in who gets voted in the All-Star Game. And because Ben Simmons has the popularity factor, he got voted in over Tobias Harris. Yeah, I completely agree that, yeah, it should have been Tobias in the All-Star game. Because you look who's been playing the most efficiently off on the offensive side of the ball through the season with Doc Rivers as our coach. It's Tobias Harris. I mean, you can look at some of the statistics. And statistics don't always tell the whole story. But in this case, they do give an indication of the story, particularly who's the better offensive player, who scores more points. Tobias has been averaging at least 20 points a game through the season. He's averaged 20 points. And he's also averaged 40% from the three-point line, which is better than Ben Simmons' three-point shooting and better than Ben Simmons' average for the season. And Ben Simmons' average points for the season has dropped this year from previous seasons. And Ben Sim because Ben's usually around 16, but he's dropped to overall point percentage for the season to around 15. And he's also, his three-point percentage is around 33.3. So while Tobias is three-point shooting percentage hasn't been phenomenal. It's definitely better than Ben Simmons, and his point averages for the season are typically higher. Tobias Harris is putting up more points than Ben Simmons. And you followed enough Sixers games this season, you clearly know that Tobias is scoring more. He's clearly doing more offensively than Ben Simmons has throughout the season. You've had a few games where Ben Simmons has shine, but outside that three-week stretch, you remember that three-week stretch where Ben Simmons, it was like close to the All-Star game he played – Really good, and he did just enough to kind of somewhat, to some people, justify being in the All-Star game, which it didn't. But the point being, he only had like a couple weeks stretch where you really saw Ben Simmons playing good. But you look throughout the entire season, Tobias has consistently been playing better offensively, definitely a better score, and he's definitely more of a legit number two guy. And I've said that before a couple times. And as Drip said in his video, Tobias is definitely playing better this season than last season, which anyone's been following the Sixers for a while can clearly see that. Can clearly see that Tobias is playing better. That's why he's the real number two guy on this team. Clearly because, well, one, he stepped up his game over Ben Simmons. And it's not just a thing of this year, too. I mean, clearly, Ben Simmons has always kind of been a guy that he'll sometimes get some numbers, but he's a better defensive player. But then you see this year, you see some areas where his game has regressed offensively. So you've seen Ben Simmons take a step downward. I know people have tried to make – they tried to make excuses early in the season but injuries, this and that. But, but, I mean, obviously that's not an excuse. His game has stepped down this year offensively. Face it. Well, Tobias Harris's game has stepped up, and he's it performed better. But obviously, yeah, and Tobias Harris is only 28. I mean, 20. So if Tobias Harris, the way he's been playing with Doc Rivers, he's a guy that can be more of a legit number two guy going forward than Ben Simmons because Tobias Harris, he's played well with Doc Rivers. You see the games where Joel Embiid isn't active on the court. You see games where Joel Embiid is out. Tobias Harris is the guy who steps up and is the main guy offensively. And even when Embiid's not on the court, sometimes Shake Milton does good too. And Shake Milton, some instances, does better than Ben Simmons. But really the point being, though, the main guy who steps up and helps us out scoring and helps us get points on the board when Embiid's not in the game 
is Tobias Harris in most instances. Most of the time, we don't have him be. We go to Tobias. And clearly, Doc Rivers is going to put his trust into Tobias. And as Drip said in the video, Doc's more reliant on putting Tobias Harris in with both the starters and the bench guys than he is Ben Simmons. So, that's the, so obviously, Tobias Harris has shown that he's more trustworthy to the head coach, which is a benefit to him, and proves that he's more of a real star on the team than Ben Simmons. Tobias is 28, which means the way he's been playing, he could at least, as long as he stays healthy and stays out of trouble, at least have three to four more solid years. Doc Rivers will being here, and especially because right, especially we could potentially go with it going forward past the season. And Beat is our number one guy. Tobias is our number two guy. He keeps playing the way he's playing. He can be the number two guy going forward along with Embiid. It could really be our one-two punch could be Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris. I mean, obviously throughout the whole process, we as Sixers fans, we've all believed and everyone in the organization believed it would be Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons is the number one, number two guy. But this year is showing that it could potentially be Embiid and Tobias Harris going forward as the number one, number two guy. Especially going into the playoffs, it looks like for the Sixers that have the best chance to compete, their one-two punch is going to have to be Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris. Obviously, Tobias is playing better. He's shown he works better in Doc Rivers' system. And we thought that Ben Simmons would improve on his shooting with Doc Rivers, but we're not seeing any progress as the season goes along. Another example that Tobias is more reliable than Ben Simmons, remember Sunday, that embarrassing game against the Grizzlies. And for those of you who been following me, you know I made that video Monday talking about how Ben Simmons and performance. I felt embarrassed. And I felt like I'd lost some confidence that we can make a run because of it. But when Ben Simmons had the disappointing performance that we all shook our head at, who stepped up and actually tried to keep us in the game? Tobias Harris. But regardless of what you look at throughout the season, if you take Joel Embiid out of the equation, take a look at everyone else on the roster beside Joel Embiid. Who's the guy who stepped up the most? Who's been the most reliable when Joel Embiid isn't there? Who's been most reliable when you take Joel Embiid out of the equation? It's Tobias Harris. At this point, I'm hoping that Tobias, that this one year isn't just a one really good year or kind of like a fluke year. I'm hoping that's not the case, that Tobias Harris can be our guy. I do believe at this way Tobias has played in this system with Doc Rivers, he can be the real number two guy. So I truly believe our real number one, number two, punch to help us compete, Joel Embiid. Tobias Harris, not only compete, but possibly make a run at this thing, possibly this year, or worst case scenario, we have to come back next year and make a run at it. And I did, yeah, so I said everything. Again, for those of you that haven't checked out the Daily Drip, do check out his channel. I put the link to his channel in the description box. Daily Drip, I enjoyed your video. I wanted to make a response to it myself because you said a lot of things that I've agreed with, and I completely agree that Tobias Harris, he's definitely the real star beside Joel Embiid on this team. And to everyone that watched, as always, thank you for watching. Hit the like button to show your support. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, do so and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new vid. Feel free to comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of what I said. And most of all, everyone watching, have a wonderful day or night. Nikki Steve signing off. And I'll see you next time. For more content like that about the Philadelphia 76ers, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new vid.